and welcome back to my channel DG Forensics. I hope you all are doing great. Today we are going to see that how a forensic evidence is being examined step by step. So let's have a look at it. The four phases are seizure, acquisition, analysis and reporting. In the seizuring phase, the physical evidence that is digital device will be seized and transferred safely to the forensic lab. This evidence can be any computing device such as laptop, tablet, mobile phones, external hard drives, USB flash drives or even a desktop PC. Upon arriving to the crime scene, the suspect digital device should be examined by a well-trained technician to ensure the digital evidence is acquired in a forensically sound manner. If the suspect computer is still running, then we should consider acquiring its volatile memory. Volatile means RAM memory if possible. RAM memory can contain a wealth of information like cryptographic keys, IAM chat logs, unencrypted contents, clipboard contents and process information among so many other things. In acquisition phase, a computer forensic examiner will conduct a duplication of the suspected hard drive to create a complete image of the seized hard drive. Analysis will be performed on the digital copy later. Examiners usually use hardware duplicators or software imaging tools like the DD command in Linux to duplicate drives. Remember that the suspected hard drive should be right protected when conducting the duplication process to avoid tampering with the original evidence. The remaining two phases will be covered in the upcoming videos. Till then, bye guys.